Hey guys, Joe from Eastwood. In this video, we're going to be breaking down what are some of the pros and cons of the Eastwood finger brake, vice brake, versa brake, electro brake, and press brake. So, very quickly here, what is a metal brake? In its simplest form, it clamps down on a piece of sheet metal, allowing you to manipulate it into a bend. That manipulation can be done manually, like with a finger brake, great for making metal boxes or trays, or you could do that with a press, great for generating a lot of pressure, or you can even use a vise attachment to bend metal. If you're working in a tight workspace and you don't have a ton of room in the shop, that option might be able to get the job done. Each one of these methods has its pros and cons, and we're going to explain all that for you today, hopefully to help you decide on what's going to work best for your project. So when I think of a metal brake, this is what pops into my head. This is the Eastwood Box and Pan Sheet Metal Brake. This design is also sometimes referred to as a finger brake, and pretty obviously it's called that because of the metal fingers, also sometimes called leaves, that clamp down onto a workpiece and allow you to bend it into shape. Really pretty simple stuff. Now, this has different size fingers. You can see some of them are larger, some are smaller, and they all sit in this channel. They're all adjustable with an Allen key. What that allows you to do is remove or rearrange these fingers into any combination you want, giving you the clearance you need when you're bending metal. These are great for doing a battery box, tray, or custom mounting brackets. As you can see, if this was one giant finger, let's say, you wouldn't be able to get past 30 degrees. This type of brake allows you to go up to 90 and beyond if you have to, all the way up to 135 degrees. Eastwood offers these in a variety of sizes. There's a 12 inch for small DIY projects like basic mounting brackets, a 24 inch for medium sized projects, thinking of floor pans here, and the largest 48 inch, which is gonna be great for truck bedside panels, inner fender structures, the larger projects. The 12 inch and the 24 inch can handle up to 20 gauge steel, 16 gauge aluminum or 24 gauge stainless and the largest 48 inch goes a little bit thicker for steel up to 18 gauge steel and 22 gauge stainless. So next up we have the Eastwood VersaBend 20 inch offset sheet metal brake. So as you can see this does not have the fingers like the previous options but what this was designed to do best is make offset bends up to 90 degrees that are spaced as close as a half an inch apart. In order to make that possible, this features a removable fence extension. So when you have a tight offset, you can remove the fence extension and then the fence becomes as shallow as half an inch deep, allowing you to work with material that is already bent in some way without that large fence getting in the way. There's even a forming brake attachment for the VersaBend that allows you to get even more creative and defined with what you're bending. You can make channel shapes as narrow as 3 eighths of an inch, which is perfect for bending rocker panel repair patches, whether stripping retainers or window channels. Another great but simple feature with the VersaBend is that you can really easily mount something like this in the vise. That's a great feature if the workbench space is at a premium, which I know that it always is for me. Next up, we have the Eastwood 48 inch electro brake sheet metal brake. Now, this is certainly gonna be aimed at the professional. This is capable of a lot of what the other brake can do and more. This bad boy works by clamping down on the piece you're bending via an electromagnet, which creates a force of six tons. It comes with three full length 48 inch bars. It includes a two inch bar that allows for more narrow bends, a full size four inch bar that has an adjustable setback, which is great for ensuring super straight bends and a full size slotted bar as well, which is what you want if you wanna create small flanges. It also comes with a set of finger like clamping bars, similar to the finger brake, but since there's no assembly clamping down on your workpiece from the top, it allows you to really get creative with the bends. You can do boxes that are infinitely deep. Frankly, it's a great feature that's not possible on the regular finger brake. It's also easy to do a hemmed or crimped edge on a panel since the brake can close the whole 180 degrees. And since this is a magnet, you can easily do a radius 90 degree bend. Simply grab a steel bar or a thick walled pipe, use it as the clamp, and make your bend around the pipe. Whatever radius your bar is, is whatever radius you'll get. Pretty neat idea. Some other great features about this one. This has an angle gauge and a movable stop on the lever. It allows you to really easily make repeated bends that are very accurate. And if you are repeating a lot of bends, this comes with a foot pedal too, which helps make things really quick. Now Eastwood also offers some brake attachments. The first one I wanna talk about is the press brake attachment. 
This is gonna be great for doing thicker material. It's capable of making 90 degree bends in 3 8 inch thick mild steel. And while it may not look as impressive, bending material that thick just simply isn't possible with any of the other brakes we've looked at so far. Of course, that's because press brakes can generate a lot of power. This is going to attach to most standard 12 or 20 ton presses, and it's great for making heavy duty brackets and engine or transmission mounts. Keeping in the way of simple but effective, last but certainly not least, we have our vice press brakes. These are simple. They're just going to attach to your vise. They save a lot of space and the setup is easy. These dies magnetically secure to the vise jaws and just like that, you're in business. They're also by far and away the most cost effective option. They're capable of bending up to 14 gauge steel and aluminum and 18 gauge stainless up to 90 degrees. The vice press brakes come in two sizes, a four inch and a six inch wide version, but they'll fit in pretty much any vice that's larger than the brake itself. Similar to the first brake we talked about, they feature a finger brake design, allowing you to have that flexibility in order to make smaller pans, trays, boxes, or channels. Well guys, that is gonna do it. If you're looking to get off the ground with some of the must-have metal fab tools, a good brake is a necessity. Eastwood has detailed breakdown videos for all of the products posted. If you're looking to dive into the nitty gritty for each one, I recommend checking those out. I'll have those linked in the description down below. As always, Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Joe. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.